All right, welcome back, True Seeker. It is Tuesday, May 17th, 2022. And just to get the word out there for all my people in the New York area, it's official, the flight is booked. I will be getting into New York Friday evening and probably just chill out once I get into town. But all day Saturday and Sunday, I'm gonna be out by the Tops Market. I'm staying in town through next Thursday so I'm gonna play it by ear on what I do after the weekend. But, um, you know, we might spend a day in front of, uh, you know, city halls. But we're, we're, we're gonna try and, and we'll spend a day at the police office. Again, I got a whole week there. But we're gonna try and get some questions answered to see if we can get anybody to talk about anything. Maybe get some police officers to admit something that's helpful to know, like what happened when I went to the mass shooting site in Washington State earlier this year on February 7th. And I think I've also come up with a solution for how to live stream and save the stream even if they take it down. So, anyhow, we will be there. When I say we, myself and yeah, right, the Matrix, he's coming out. He's, he already lives in New York, so it's not nearly as big of a commute for him as Oklahoma City. But, um... Yeah, at least the very two of us are going to be there. And I do know that a lot of my following is in the Northeast. Just from when I had to ship out my books, so many of them went to that region of the country. So if you're in driving range of Buffalo, if you can be there this weekend, count on it. Again, you know where I'm going to be. It's that Tops Market on Jefferson Avenue where the shooting happened. And again, we're going to try to educate that community about the agenda. And... You know, see if we can have a lasting impact that really helps spread the knowledge. New York's a big populated state. And um, again, sadly, what happened this last weekend there, you know it's not gonna be the last of it. There's gonna be a lot more things like that. This summer's probably gonna be hot and heavy with the rituals. And um, again, we wanna get out in front of it and see if we can keep as many people as possible from falling victim to these psychological operations. So again, if you're just tuning in, the flight is booked. I'm definitely going to be there. The only way I won't be there is if the plane crashes. But, um, yeah, Saturday and Sunday, Tops Market, Jefferson Avenue, Buffalo, New York. And, again, I will be there through Thursday. I fly back Thursday evening, so I even have most of the day Thursday. But, um... I'll figure out how, how I'm going to do the rest of the week. I imagine I'm going to stay in Buffalo the whole time. Save New York City for September 11th. We'll be back for September 11th. However, sweet lady, she said I could only choose. She said I could only do this one or September 11th, but I know by the time September 11th comes, she'll uh, she'll let me go to that one too. That, that one's a must. So anyway, sweet lady, she's not, she's not super thrilled about me doing this so quickly after getting back from Oklahoma City, but Again, she understands that I'm trying to make something happen and uh, try not to get in the car accident here. People drive driving crazy, but um, yeah, so New York, Buffalo this weekend. And if you can't make it Saturday or Sunday and the week's better for you, again, I'm going to be in Buffalo through Thursday. I go back next Thursday night, not this Thursday night, next Thursday night. That's May 26th. And, um, yeah, I, I'm hoping we can get a big gathering. Again, from what I know about where I sent books, a lot of the people who care about the work are in that region. So, um, it's hard to, it's hard to read the chat right now. It's that time of day. I'm, we got the sun glare all over, but, um. I wanted to get the word out there because people are texting and emailing. Are you serious about Buffalo? Yes, I am serious about Buffalo. Going to be there. So this should give you as much time as possible to plan. I just booked the flight about two hours ago. And um, if there is anybody in the area that, that has other good ideas for places to pound payment, I, I'd love to see that in the comments. Zach, you should definitely go to this park, this corner of the city. Because, again, I've never been there before. So I'm going to have to map it out but I know where I'm gonna be for the weekend. Right at the side of the shooting, seems like the most appropriate place. I imagine they'll have some kind of memorial going there. It'll be the one week anniversary. You know, I'm hoping they have some kind of gathering there so there's people to engage with, educate about what really happened. And again, you know, the topics we're gonna be hitting on is what our federal government's really up to, 
get people to look into things like MK Ultra because that's something the CIA admitted two decades ago, but they said they ended the program, but did they really end it, the mind control program? Certainly doesn't look like it. And, um, you know, we'll get the word out there. By the way, I just posted a little bit ago on my Patreon page. You don't have to be a Patreon member. If you go to my Patreon page, member or not, you'll have access to it. I made it free for the public. But I, I put up another PDF document for, you know, the fast facts about the shooting at the Topps Market this past weekend. I mean, there's even more that we could say about it, but I thought the bullet points I put on there are the very best talking points, the most easily understood. And again, just a page of information. I don't want to do more than a page. It gets overwhelming. But if you go to my Patreon, it's the top post right now, PDF document. Just download it for free. And... Um, if you want to add other things on there that we've talked about in the videos we've done, I mean, you can pencil it in there. But again, I, I think I think the bullet points I put on there are the most fluid, the most easy to understand. And again, if you've missed out on the work that we've been doing since the shooting happened Saturday, definitely check it out where we're building the case more day by day. And again, you know, there's always more. I'm sure there's a whole bunch more to it that we haven't even uncovered yet, but we already know enough to explain how sinister it is, how evil it is, and no doubt it was planned from the day that they opened up that store. That, that's the sick thing about it. The day they opened that store, they had it planned for the shooting on the exact day they had it on. And, and remember, they opened that store 19 days after the shooter was born. The shooter was born 19 days before the store opened, the chaos number. The store opened on the 190th day of the year, the 19th triangular number, and the shooting happened exactly 19 weeks before the mayor's upcoming birthday. Again, we know that number, chaos. Get right into the 9-11 and the 19 hijackers and 19 years later in COVID. COVID-19, 19 years later. But, um, yeah, I decided to fly too because they're not making you wear the slave muzzle right now. I might have even flown to Oklahoma City, but in the time I went down there, the slave muzzle was still being enforced. They, let, they ended the slave muzzle requirement April 18th, the day before our big day, but on the, on the anniversary of the future mask off single coming out. So yeah, Patreon if you guys want the PDF document. Comments if you got places for me to go to in Buffalo that I should be pounding pavement to get the word out. And... Um, Again, be there if you want to actually support us and help us out in person. The, the bigger the crowd we have, the more effective we'll be. And if there's anybody there that has like a, a speaker and a microphone set up that we could put on the street, that would be awesome. I'm going to have that for New York 9-11. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drive out there for 9-11 so I can bring more equipment with me. But um, yeah, if, if anybody's in New York and has something like that, that would be, that would be helpful. Maybe I'll even look into renting something like that. Got to be a place in town that you could rent something like that. So. Um, yeah, I'm trying to see the chat, but the glare's too much. I can't make it out. So. Anyway. I'm trying to get Sweet Lady on board with the plan to pound and payment a lot more. Because, I, I, again, the time really is now. I, I got to get down to Big Tech and Silicon Valley next. That'll be the next thing when I get back. But again, the Buffalo thing just happened. And again, in the United States of amnesia, you got to address the issue before everybody forgets about it. And this is definitely something that needs to be addressed. It's just sick when you think about it. Just like how they used OJ Simpson for the race war in the 90s with his contrived trial. And then the store opened on his 56th birthday. And tops friendly markets equals 263, the 56th prime. And then it happens 263 days after the governor's, after the governor became the governor, Kathy Hochul, who's from Buffalo, New York. And then the mayor's name's 56 right now. And the shooting happens 56 days before the anniversary of it reopening. It's just, I mean, we got to get the world to, to catch on to. I mean, how, how many more times we got to talk about the same kind of patterns, the long planned out rituals, the encoding of 56. So, again, we'll find out just how much the people get it in Buffalo. The only thing that sucks about the short planning is the one thing I wish I had is um, nice printed out 
big posters like I had for New Orleans. Really, I should have had some of those for Oklahoma City. We'll, we'll, we'll get better as time goes on. Next year, well, next year when we do OKC again, we'll have a, a huge banner that a group of people can hold. Next year when we do OKC, we should probably go to Tulsa too, educate about all the things they've been doing in Tulsa. I should have went there. It's not that far from OKC. The, uh, the, the only thing about OKC, man, is it's such a ghost town, but God, it's such an important event. The, the, the other mistake I made when I was down in OKC is we should have went to the, uh, the Capitol building there, talked to the government officials. But yeah, anyway, I don't, I don't have much else to say. I'm looking forward to the trip. I'm looking forward to all the people I'll meet. And um, again, if you guys can share this with other people, it'll just give other people a, a chance to see it and potentially come and participate. And if you're out there, somebody, and you found this video and you've never seen me before and you don't know what my work's about and what I've been doing the last nine years, again, Gematria. It's the language to know to see through federal rituals. It's the language of letters and numbers and dates. It's very obvious the government works by the code. These things are impossible coincidences. Again, I've been educating about for years how news and sports are scripted together because the same entity that controls the rig sports leagues is the same entity that controls your government, and they use them to control the people. The, the sports games pacify people, they distract people, and when you learn the code, you see how it all lines up. Buffalo Bills equals 117. The shooting 117 before the Bills, 117 days before the Bills open the season. And then what's amazing is from the day the shooter was born to the shooting is 6,903 days later, which is the 117th triangular number. And again, the story opened on O.J. Simpson's birthday, the longtime Buffalo Bill. And of course, the Bills are one of the top teams in the NFL. And you know, all year they're going to be wearing a patch in tribute to the shooting. It'll probably be something like the number 10 for the 10 victims. But, um, and keep in mind, if, if, the one thing we gotta do in the research is if, if there is a riddle in store for the Bills to go to the Super Bowl after this tragedy, because Kathy Hochul from Buffalo is the 57th governor and the upcoming Super Bowl is Super Bowl 57. Um, wouldn't be the first time they've done something like that. But again, it doesn't necessarily mean Super Bowl, just like Michigan. Michigan had the tragedy in Oxford and they wore the 42 patch only to win their next game with 42 points but they didn't make it to the college football championship and win it. What went happened on there is exactly what we suspected before week two was even played that Georgia would beat Alabama. But um, again the power of Gematria. See how scripted the sports is, see how scripted the news is, see how ritualistic it is, see how well planned out it is and see how it's all perfectly coordinated to essentially keep the public in a trance uh, under a state of mind control, fear, in a spell. And again, that's the magic of like starting to realize these things. Why do we spell spell with the word spell? Or, or why is it the word spell, which relates to creating words and magic? And, um, words and language, things that are so important to governments, contracts, legal documents. So, anyway. Almost to the destination, and um, again, if anybody wants to help out with the cause, if anybody want to help out with, uh, you know, the fees, it does cost money to travel and hotels and all that stuff, um, all donations are welcome. Again, I'd love to see a surge of people supporting the Patreon for a dollar a month. Again, that's three pennies a day you got a budget to help me out. One dollar a month, check the box for recurring payment. It'll charge you a dollar each month on the first, and you'll be doing wonders for me. And again, for all of you guys who think you, do, you don't need to do it because a dollar is nothing, again, it, you have to look at it from a huge community. If a huge community each pledges a dollar a month, it's a huge contribution. So we gotta grow our community, we gotta grow people who care enough to support the work, and we gotta put the resources to work too, more and more. And um, if you guys aren't on Free to Find Truth, Dot com Again, that's the website for people to organize, network. It's censorship free. It's a place where you can put all the information you're into, you're studying, you're researching, you're blogging, you're archiving. And um, again, that website's paid for by this community. 
So thank you to everyone who supports. It does make things happen. And um, if I didn't have the financial support, you know, Oklahoma City wouldn't happen and this trip wouldn't happen as well. So thank you to the people who support. And if you guys want to know how to support it, there's probably nothing on this stream because I'm doing it through my phone. But um, I will add it to the description of the video. But also my website, gematrieffect.news, the top pin post. If you just scroll down a little bit, you'll see a picture of a COVID mask. And right above that mask are the places to donate. And of course, if you don't know why I have a picture of a COVID mask there, it's because I, of what I want you to see. It says on the inside of the label of the mask. And people need to think about all kinds of things that are going on. So we'll leave it there for now, True Seeker. And um, again, thank you to everyone who hits the like and the share. Thank you to everyone who's going to come out to New York. Thank you in advance. My man, Generous Ray's out there. Give me a call. See if I can stop by and surprise Generous Ray out in New York. It's a man that I look forward to meeting. But um, I think he's actually closer to New York City, so it might have to wait till the 9 11 trip. But um, yeah, again, this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, I'll be there all day. And when I say all day, I get there all day. I don't eat, I don't go to the bathroom, I just pound pavement all day. The, the trick is, you know. Well, the trick for me is, you know, don't drink too much because then you'll have to go to the bathroom. And, uh, you know, also don't eat too much and just, you know, be prepared for a day of fasting. And honestly, when I, when I fast all day, my energy feels really good too. So, And then you, you chow down when you get home. You make up for all the lost time. But I'll be out there all day Saturday and Sunday. And, uh, again, I look forward to meeting everybody who comes out. And, and shout out to uh, Steve and Erica in Dallas. They just called me up and they said, we want to drive out there. I said, well, if you guys want to drive out there, you're more than welcome to. But they're coming out for 9-11. But I, I said, you know, you don't, you don't have to um, you don't have to drive up for both trips. I mean, they live in the Dallas area. So, again, if you just came out to Oklahoma City and it's a long drive for you to New York, don't feel the pressure to come out. But if, if you can plan and make it for 9-11, do do that. We got a lot longer to plan for that. This one came kind of on short notice. I just felt all week like I need to go to Buffalo and, and educate about everything we know. I, I hate watching poor communities get picked on. And I mean, it's like, what else is new? But it, it's going to get a lot worse. It's going to get a lot worse. And communities like that need to learn what's really taking place and have the evidence in hand to confront all the government officials in their community every chance they can get. So Saturday and Sunday at the tops, again, the next four days there, I'm there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I go back Thursday night. Uh, I'm, I'm going to pick out a day to be in front of like the local police precinct, another day to be out in front of the local, you know, politician city hall. And uh, again, I'll just play it by ear. So, and shout out to, yeah, right. The matrix. He said, he's going to pick me up at the airport. I appreciate that. He's got to drive an hour to do that. And by the way, if you're out there, yeah, right, the Matrix, and you can't make it to the airport, it's not a big deal. I'll, I'll manage. So, um, I see somebody gave a super chat. Hold on, I can't make it out though; it's too small. I'll say thank you to the super chatters later. I can't, I can't make it out; it's too small on the cell phone. So, all right, guys. Yeah, it's official. I'll be there. Plan for it if you can be there, and. Um, Thank you to the uh, to Paul on Cash App. I did see that. It's a bigger print. But anyway, talk to you soon, True Seeker. Tomorrow night on TFR, we'll be talking all about Buffalo and the event this weekend. So TFR, those are the kind of calls I'm looking forward to. Let's really get this event hyped up, get the word out there, let people know what's happening, and, and try to get as big of a crowd as possible. I'm hoping we can get at least 100 people. All right. Until next time.